What's up? Today I'm going to show you how to get the black cinematic bars in Premiere Pro um, so it gives you more of a widescreen effect. Um, so all you really need to do is um, go to your project, um, source project, your project menu. Um, you're going to want to click here where it's new item and then click color matte and then here this doesn't matter the dimensions here click OK and then you're going to want to click the color you want. Obviously we want black so you'll click black, we'll click OK and then I'm going to name it black bars okay so here we have black bars and what you want to do is drag that from the project menu over your video and then I'm going to just drag it out okay and then so what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to click on black bars and go to your effects menu and search for crop so as you can see I already searched for it so you can go to crop which is under video effects so you go to video effects and uh, where is it? Transform, crop. You're going to want to drag crop over black bars. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to want to go up to your effect controls, which should be up here, depending on how you have it set up. And you're going to want to go to crop. So you want your bottom and top to be the same no matter what. So for this video, I want it to be 90 on the bottom. And then as you can see, it's a 90 crop from the bottom. So um, now what you want to do is. Um, if you have Mac, you're going to want to click on black bars and click the option button, and drag up so it makes a new one. And then you're going to want to select the top layer that you just made. Go down to crop, and then effect controls, change the bottom back to zero, but then change the top to 90. And then there you go. We have the cinematic bars. Um, pretty simple. And then wherever you want them on the video, you can just extend it. If you wanted to make it easier, you could probably even nest them together. Um, let's see if that will work. I'm not sure since nest. Yep, see, now it's all nested together, so I don't have to even worry about dragging both of them together. They're all together. So, yep, that is the tutorial on how to get the black cinematic bars in Premiere Pro. Okay.